Thanks for coming to JNN Travels Podcast with your host, John and Nancy. Hi. We will discuss everything travel, including cruising, Disney World, other general travel, snowboarding tips, trivia, and other fun things. Our segment today, Nancy, will be on cruise ships or cruise lines, a comparison. Uh, since we're in the midst of booking a cruise for this October on a Carnival cruise ship, we thought maybe we would discuss which cruise lines and even cruise ships that we like the best. Yeah. So what we did is we've been on four cruise lines, NCL, which is uh, Norwegian, Disney, RCL, which is Royal, and Carnival. So we broke the categories down to food, entertainment, things to do, and cost. Right. So let's start with food. Um, any ships or cruise lines stand out to you as being really good? Well, the Disney Cruise Line. I thought their food was amazing. They had uh, beautiful, beautiful restaurants there, and th the food was amazing. I would put uh, Disney probably at the top also. And like you mentioned, the restaurants were so well-themed. Yes. That it it was an experience in itself. It was, yes. Besides the quality of the food. Yeah. What would you put behind uh, Disney as far as quality? Oh, um, I would say Royal Caribbean. I really, really enjoy the food on they had um, this lamb pocket, I think, that I really got into. I ordered it every lunch. <laughs> it was very good. But their food was great. I put Royal Caribbean and uh, Norwegian probably in the same Yeah, in the same Yeah, plateau. Norwegian's good, too. I, I agree. Norwegian is very good. The big thing about, and I would definitely put, not that we disliked it, but I would definitely put Carnival as the fourth on there in yeah. the quality of food. Yeah, I enjoy Carnival food. The thing that stands out the most with Carnival is a negative that the other three um, didn't do was they had nothing to eat um, past, I think it was 1 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, everything closed down. Yeah. Everything closed down, and the problem was that between 11 and 1, the only thing open was a pizza place. Yeah, the pizza place was great, but you had to wait in a long, there's long a There's literally a line every night from one one side of the ship where the pizza place was to the other side I know. of the ship. Everybody was hungry, and, and it's that's the only a, place. It's I such a it, simple fix, fix too. You have some, a late-night menu they somewhere. They could fix that so easily, yeah. That was one of the things we liked most about Royal Caribbean, and especially uh, Norwegian, because Norwegian had a 24-hour uh, pub yeah. restaurant. At the time, it was called Oshinans, and I oh, think they renamed it now. Yeah. What do they mean? You could get chicken wings oh, 20, yeah. 24 7. They had sandwiches. They had a nice taco bowl that I really yes. enjoyed. I loved their taco bowl. And they had the, um, uh, I can't think of the other sandwiches. They had one time. Oh, the they Reuben. The, they had Reubens there. That's right. Very the, good. And the fish. Fish, yeah, I didn't fish. care for the Reuben on the Carnival Cruise Line. They, I guess I made the error of not saying um, double meat because if I said double meat, I would have liked it. But um, they, they didn't put a lot of um, corned beef in it. But you have to ask for double meat. But um, on Norwegian, they made it very, very good. We got excited because they had a deli on the Carnival. But it was terrible. The quality of the sandwiches between the two of us, we probably, I think they had like 12 sandwiches, 13 mm -hmm. sandwiches. Between two of us, we probably tried half of them. Yeah. And didn't like any of them. No. So that was a letdown. Yeah. The, uh, like we said, there was nothing open real late. No. Except for the pizza, maybe till one o'clock. So yeah. that was the biggest letdown with that. The quality of food, you know, we'll eat the food. It was good. It was good. Yeah. I can't complain. There wasn't anything I would say that was outstanding other than, of course, they have lobster and that's my favorite. But, um, you know, and I like salmon, so it was always delicious. Um, but the, I, the other thing, which is a staple of us, like every ship we went on had, if you didn't like what was on the menu for that day, there was always a counter uh, menu at the bottom, a chicken, yeah. a steak, and I think it was a seafood. Yeah. And we found the steak on the carnival, the quality was probably the lowest of all. Yeah. Food. Yeah. I, I agree with you there, of course. So that wasn't as good either. No, the, that wasn't as good. The main dining rooms, I, I guess... Carnival would be below the other three. They were pretty yeah. similar. I mean, I still can't complain. I mean, the food is good. You know, I mean, yeah, NCL and the OA, uh, Royal Caribbean and, of course, Disney. They're all a notch above. But the food was good. Buffet, I thought the Carnival had 
the weakest selection. They again. did, yeah, they did. And um, I loved NCLs, we loved Royal and Disney, really. They yeah. all had a good selection. Yeah. But, the, like, again, I did really enjoy the Lobster Night on Carnival. That was nice. And, and a little hint here, we learned something that we do all the time now. There are people think that there's the same food in the main dining room is a buffet. Yeah. Well, they always sneak something in on the buffet that's not advertised. Right. So we go the earliest sit down dinner in the main dining room and then we'll go up to the buffet and at the very end of the buffet, so we're a little bit hungry, and we see what's on there. Yeah. Like one day we found baby back ribs. Yeah. No, that one was really time good. no one know about Couple nights they put those, like you said, those delicious shrimp on a skewer. Oh, those are really good. And the one time they were actually um, giving out um, extra lobster. What was that? The Oasis cruise. That line? was when they didn't oh. have a full group, yeah. and they actually didn't use all the lobster yeah. the day before. So I was they were shocked. We were up in the main dining room, and they're passing out lobster. Tails. They were walking around in lobster. I was like, tails, this yeah. is great. Yeah. Yeah. Just trying to get rid it. of it. I was like, yes, I'll have a few. That was nice. So, so as far yeah. as so as far as the food then. So we've um, always been pleasantly surprised when we've gone to the main dining room as far as selection. So if you on a scale of one to ten, would you rank? Uh, how would you rank the food at, at the four? Uh, well, Disney being number one, uh, Royal being number two, and CL three and Carnival four. Okay, but on a scale of one to ten, how would you rank the food on each ship? Oh, I would rank Disney as 10. I would rank Royal as 8, um, NCL 7, and Carnival maybe 5, 6. Yeah, I wouldn't, I don't give any a 10, but I would give probably Royal, I, the other three that we mentioned would be up there around 7 or 8, mm -hmm. and Carnival would be around the 4 to mm -hmm. 5, in my opinion. Uh, certainly edible and certainly tasty, but mm -hmm. not the quality and not the variety. Yeah. So then if we move on to the cruise lines and we go to entertainment. Yeah. Again, what the strength, right? Yeah. Uh, it, Royal Caribbean has the Broadway shows. Oh, yeah. They, they were great. They have Grease and Cats and yeah, they had the six, Jersey Boys, right? Jersey Boys. Right. They had the like a Fabulous Four, I think they were called, and they had Britain's Finest, uh, which is a Beatles right. tribute. Fabulous Four played a lot of um, older songs. They were good. And a notch below them would have been NCL. Yeah. With uh, not Broadway type, but it was definitely uh, top notch stage mm -hmm. entertainment. Yeah. Disney, of course, is right up there. They had their own shows. Yeah, that they Disney run, shows and, were phenomenal. Um, yeah. I think the ones we had seen was Hercules and yeah. um, one, another one that was just made for the ship. Those are very Those good. Those are also. very, very good. Yeah. yeah. Very now, good. here again, we don't dislike the entertainment on Carnival. No. But it's more of a. Sing and dance. Yeah, they, I like that. They, yeah, I don't dislike it. They sing or they dance or they lip yeah, sync yeah. and it's not it's not even close to Broadway right, style. Right. Which we enjoy, but a lot we, of people don't. Yeah, they I would enjoy rather the sit Broadway down and watch show. something more Broadway level. Yeah. So there again I would give the other three cruise lines up around the seven, eight in entertainment and in kind of a yeah. what? Uh five. Five maybe. Yeah. Um they did have it's funny, a couple of cruise lines have that deal or no deal. There are oh, that's some game fine. shows. Yeah, that's a fun game show. I enjoy that. The Carnival ships we were on did not have the family few, but I heard no. that's on some of the Carnival yeah. cruise lines now. Yeah, they had trivia, which I found entertaining. Well, most cruise ships. The old cruise ships, yeah. right. Have that. Have that, yeah. So as far as straight entertainment, stage entertainment, um, yeah, that, that's how we rank the, yeah. the four ships. Yeah. The four cruise lines. Uh, as far as... You know stuff you find in the bar. Carnival had a it has a uh, trio that plays the, oh, the violins. Oh, they it's were absolutely fantastic! Great, and they. Oh, I could have sat there and listened to them all night. Right, yeah. and that was that was one of the top ones. We, yeah, uh, for those really for the next them. level of entertainment. Yeah, that was beautiful. They were beautiful. So that's how we rank the entertainment. Yeah. Things to do on the ships. Uh, now these are all over the place. You can find. Uh, we like the rope courses. Well, he did. I <laughs> the, the smaller ships are not going. We're not going to have much more than a basketball court, yeah. and they rock climbing wall. The, yeah. The bigger ones are going to have race tracks, mm. and um, the aqua, um, the, the surfing type yeah. of thing, yeah. right? And I'm trying to think of the zip line. Zip line, um, right? 
One of our favorite ships was Oasis of the Sea for a Royal Caribbean that had everything you could imagine. We had an ice skating rink. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Ice skating rink, yeah. zip line, giant slide, dry yeah, slide. Yeah, the slide, yep. That even had a merry-go-round, remember? Oh, yeah, that was nice. I got to ride the merry-go-round, yeah. So considering they have the biggest ships at sea, Royal Caribbean, mm. they're going to have a little bit, probably a notch above it as far as entertainment. Yeah. We did not like, um, did not want to go on those big ships until we tried out the Oasis. And I absolutely love the Oasis. Love the Oasis. Yes. I mean, our favorite part of that was, of course, or one of our favorite parts was the Central Park. I know. Our, bell, our room overlooked Central Park. That was really, really cool. That's a replica of, of New York Central Park. Yeah, it's it's really actually cool. live plants and paths. And, yeah, it's very, and, very pretty. So that was great. And um, they had entertainment there at night in Central Park. They had yes. A violinist and a piano player. It was nice. Some restaurants. It feels yeah. like you're probably wa actually walking around yeah. Central Park yeah. to a point. You wouldn't even know you're on a cruise ship. No, you wouldn't. Say, we, no. Our, we had a balcony overlooking Central Park. Yeah, so. it was really nice. It was but, a beautiful cruise ship. And, and there's a lot to be said for even the smaller ships. Like, mm -hmm. we really enjoyed the gem. I um, loved the Escape. I thought it was decorated. Well, that's a mid-range. Yeah, yeah, I loved the I thought it was decorated just beautifully. Yeah, the Escape, for mid-range, the, the Escape and the Bliss. The Bliss is gorgeous. The Horizon, the Cabo, yeah. all oh, nice ships. Oh, they're all gorgeous. Yeah. They all have plenty to do. They do. But as far as small ships, you know, there again, you go on the big one now, going back to a small one, there's so much less to do on it. Yeah. But there is less people, too. That's true. That's a good point. I don't know if we'd be able to keep busy now on a small ship. I know. I almost wonder because. <laughs> I know. You, you limit to the amount of stuff they offer on a yeah, small ship. Yeah, that's true. So those are basically our rankings for the ships uh, shells, uh, themselves, what we liked. Um, as far as the cost, you know, Nancy was on the impression the cheapest one out there was Norwegian, and a lot of people claim that's very high. We've always experienced that as being the lowest one of the four, and I think it's because of the time of year we went. Why it's that way? Because it looks like most of the prices out there, your cheapest cruise if you're going to go on it, probably the reasons that we mentioned is Carnival. Yeah. And I always found Royal Caribbean, well, Disney's way. Oh, yeah. We know all that. People Disney's. ask why we don't go more Disney, and I always say that we could do two and a half cruises for the price of one <laughs> yeah. Disney cruise. So that's a that's a tough one with Disney. But in Royal Caribbean, I think is a notch cost more costlier than the mm -hmm. Norwegian. But those three are up. Well, Disney's way up, and then the, the Norwegian and Royal are in the middle. Yeah. And Carnival's a, a notch below them price-wise. Yeah. And that's where we've booked the Carnival Cruise. We got a good, uh, got a very good deal on one for this coming October. Yeah, I'm looking forward to that because it was um, a Costa ship and it's uh, Italian themed. So it's called the Venezia. So um, and it'll be coming uh, to New York from Spain. So, is there anything else you'd like to add about the ships? No. They're all decorated beautifully. They really are. You can't go wrong with any of them, even though, you know, I get a little tainted with Carnival recently because it seems like there's a lot of issues going on with Carnival ships on board. But other than that, you know, if you, if you luck out and get a good sailing, uh, all the ships are great. I have to mention that I love the music that they play on Carnival. They play a lot of upbeat um Popular music, current stuff. current stuff, and I really, really enjoyed it. Yeah. Well, that was one of the issues we had with was it Royal, where they were classier type of shows, yeah. but they weren't really. They, we didn't really enjoy them as much. We liked the more lively shows. Were, yeah. Well, Royal, we enjoyed the Aqua Show very much, and I enjoyed Cats, um, and the ice skating show was nice. Yeah. Yeah. Those are all nice, yeah. and that, but those are all in the bigger ship, too. Yeah. So you really have to go to the mega ships to get that kind of entertainment. Right. And the um, activities on there. I mean, all, there's all sorts of stuff you can find yeah. out. There's the racetracks. There's bowling alleys. There's the zip lines. There's the, um, uh, what do you call it, the thing that blows you up with the air, the, like the sky, sky diving simulator. Oh, the sky diving simulator, yeah. Um, a lot of them have giant screens now in the middle. I remember the earlier ships were going on. Oh, the small ships don't have the great quality screens at the pool to watch oh. movies and stuff. Yeah, that's right. So that's a fun take in now, too. Yeah. So 
that's how we look at the ships. Yeah. And we'll talk more about cruising on the latest show. Yep. Bye for now. Now for some more trivia questions. Which country is home to the most volcanoes? Which country is home to the most volcanoes? Second trivia question, which is the only cruise line that shows movies the same day that they premiere on land? Which is the only cruise line that shows movies the same day that they premiere on land? And the last one is, how far apart are trash cans at Disney World? How far apart are trash cans at Disney World? That's, <laughs> That's an interesting, interesting one. That's very interesting. Hello, I'm Nancy, and welcome to Nancy's Fun Facts. Today, I have five travel fun facts for you. What fun facts, Nancy, do you have for us today? I have some interesting facts about the Galapagos Island. Now, that's interesting, because that's on my bucket list. I'll, yeah. I'll never get there, but <laughs> I love the uh, thought of a trip to the Galapagos Islands. So Fascinating place. What can you share with us? Well, number one, lava oozing up from the ocean floor helped form the Galapagos Islands. Some volcanoes are still active, and the most recent eruption was in 2009. That's very recent. Number two, Charles Darwin arrived in the Galapagos Islands in 1835, 300 years after the islands were discovered in 1535 when a ship was blown off course. His five-week visit resulted in the theory of evolution and the publication of The Origin of Species in 1859. <laughs> Number three, it was a haven for pirates, a nice remote spot to stash pirates' loot. That would make sense. So I <laughs> imagine does. any of those small islands would be. Yep. So number four, Galapagos Islands is a volcanic archipelago, 21 islands in the Pacific Ocean. It is a province of Ecuador. It is considered one of the world's foremost destinations for wildlife viewing. There are a lot of... Uh, wildlife, we always see in pictures out yep. there that would be fascinating to walk around and see these and take pictures of them. Number five, it's home to the blue-footed booby, adorable birds with distinctive blue feet. And I've seen lots of pictures. That's it's an interesting thing. And the turtles and the lizards and mm -hmm. all those kind of things would be fascinating. Would okay, be. sounds good, Nance. Snowbirding tip for today. If you book through Airbnb or Verbo or an organization like that, the way you get your best deals and you save a lot of money is if you book at least 28-day totals. So in other words, you want at least four weeks at the resort and the cost will be reduced. If you go within that, like if you go on 26 days or 21 days, usually there's not a discount. So remember when booking, do the price evaluation with the 28 days or more, and then you compare it to 20, uh, 27 days or less. Today's segment is from an edited segment from one of our YouTube lives. So cruise shows, guys, what do you recommend? What would you suggest for your favorite uh, cruise shows? Uh, we put down seven that we liked a lot that yeah. stood out. Yeah, There's sorry. a lot that we enjoyed. But... Yeah, this was one of my favorites. It was six, and I saw it twice. I liked it so much. That was on uh, NCL. Um, I don't know what ship that was on, but I can't recall. Do you remember? Six was the one was probably the Bliss, right? Bliss, that's so right, because that yeah, our son was so, on that so cruise son. ship. That's right. Well, he loved it, too. He saw it twice as well. There were two shows that we had seen on sea that people saw them and saw the Broadway. One yeah. was that one was the Jersey, the Jersey Boys. Boys. They said that oh, they that were as good on the ship as they were. Yeah, the Jersey theater. Boys was fantastic. Oh, yes. We, I don't know if we got to see that twice. I wanted to, but I don't know if I did it. I don't know if we, you saw six uh, twice. I saw six twice. I love the Jersey Boys. That was amazing. The, the music uh, is really nice in six. It's yeah. kind of upbeat. It's, yeah. it's pretty neat. It's really good. The, what, what King, King Henry VIII's wife. They, the they cut off all of the heads or something like that. Yeah. But that was a good one. He only cut off one head. Just one head? Oh, I thought he cut all the heads off. <laughs> well, he killed them all, though. Uh, Jersey Boys is the other one, which I had always wanted to see, and then we get an opportunity to see it on yeah, the ship. Yeah, that was good. That was fantastic. Yeah. We're both. Uh, Beatle fans. Yes. So uh, we really enjoyed Britain's Finest. Yeah, that was, which was, I, that on, was one excellent. of these ships. Sherry says the Aqua Show on the Oasis. Oh yes, definitely. Let's That's see. a must see. That was amazing. I didn't know that Paul had never gone to a show. Give it a try, oh, Paul, really? just for the heck of it. Oh yeah. He's, he uh, he's a piano bar guy and trivia guy. Oh so. okay. Yeah, that trivia is fun. I really enjoy trivia. Or atrium band. Yeah. 
Yeah, I didn't realize whose line was it? It must have been Carnival. Yeah, Carnival uh, had that, the piano player. No, but the ones with the strings. Remember? <gasps> oh, they and were fantastic. I thought that was just on the horizon. Yeah, but they were really good. We, uh, the um, well, violinists. Yeah, yeah the, I think those are on that a quartet like that is on every ship, which oh, we really they were nice. really they were good. Fantastic. Yeah, they are fantastic. I really enjoyed them. Billy likes '80s to the max on Carnival Dream and the Aqua Show. Yeah, the Aqua the Show. The was awesome. Yeah, we've been on two crews and have never seen any shows. Jimmy says, "Wow, guys, if you great? haven't seen them, give it a shot." So the other show that was really worth seeing uh, that they had was uh, well, they had Mamma Mia on the Oasis that okay, our daughter this, saw. There's three like. Broadway shows. Yeah, they put had, them all on the same line. Yeah. We saw cats. We saw I saw cats. You didn't see it. But no, but they but the internet it. rates the there's a Grease show. Grease. And Mamma Mia show, which mm -hmm. they rate very high. Well, my daughter saw Mamma Mia. She was on the Oasis last year and loved Mamma Mia. I saw cats and I enjoyed cats. Um Grease, um, I don't think I know anyone that's seen Grease. On any, on any cruise no, yet. they just got some uh, But I'm sure that right. Probably very good. The Aqua Show we have on our list, and I know two or three of you have mentioned mm -hmm. that. That's mm -hmm. fantastic. If you that haven't is. seen that, it's at the back end of the, the uh, Oasis, the bigger yeah. uh, Royal Caribbean ships, mm -hmm. high dive acts. It's it's and then it's some amazing. dance and music. Yeah, yeah, that's really good. Jimmy likes the piano bars too. Um, the Ice Show. Yeah, it, it. I mean, it's not like an ice capades type of thing, no, but on a cruise ship in a yeah. small ice rink like that. Yeah. It was a very enjoyable show. Yeah, I really liked it. We saw it twice. We mm -hmm. liked it. Billy says deal or no deal. I like so deal. Was and, Billy I like was actually deal. on stage I know. for that. So. I like deal and no deal. I think that's entertaining. We I always do. go and watch a couple yeah. of those shows. Yeah, I like that. Okay, uh, so Billy saw Mamma Mia. And liked oh, it too. oh, really? So Good. Two big positives yeah. for Mamma Mia. Yeah, I'd like to see that. I hope I get to see that on the cruise ship. And the last one on our list is a show called one. Rock of Ages. I'm trying to think of what ship that was on now. Oh, I don't it remember. It might have been the NCL. NCL. That's different dancing and rock music. It's one of the higher rated shows, like non Broadway him. shows on cruise ships. And I really did like the dancing on the uh, horizon. The shows on the horizon so good. All the you know, dancing that we saw on the uh, carnival's a notch below the other one yeah. because it doesn't give you that Broadway. No, they don't give you the Broadway. Show, but, but the dancer was really good. I enjoyed it. And we're very much into just just seeing singing and dancing. Yeah, right. They're up there in their costumes and, and music yeah. that we can identify with. Uh, we enjoy that. Yeah, but six Britain's finest Jersey Boys right up there. Yeah, right. My son really enjoyed Jersey Boys, even though he wasn't too familiar with the music. He really enjoyed it. He enjoyed uh, the Beatles, too. The Britain's Finest. We saw it. The, the bad thing with Dad is it, it was in a very small club. It was supposed to be a copy of their one in, in London, England. Yeah. And mm -hmm. they did one show, Another which is great, that they moved to the main theater. So everyone it, see it, it was called The Cabin, and it's where they were discovered in Liverpool. Liverpool? Yeah. Also, like flick on the carnival dream. Never heard that one. Show mm -hmm. about movie songs. That would be oh. fun. Movie songs. Yeah. Love and marriage. Yeah. Okay. So those are our shows. Um, if you have any others to throw out here, throw them out. We had a hypnotist that was a kind of a neat show. Um, on. Yeah. You didn't really like. I it don't that really much. believe the hypnotist. <laughs> I think it's a big. Yeah, but it was entertaining. Just like people with ESPN. You know, I just kind of. <laughs> it was entertaining. Okay, now for the answers to the trivia questions. Which country is home to the most volcanoes? I got this wrong. I thought it was Hawaii, but it's Indonesia. Really? Yeah. Okay. Very interesting. Okay. The second question. Which is the only cruise line that shows movies the same day that they premiere on land? I knew this one. Oh, you did. It's a Disney cruise line. And if you haven't had a chance to go on a Disney cruise line, oh, it's phenomenal. Quite expensive. Because we though. saw a couple for us when yes. we went on there. Yes. We were fortunate to go on one years ago. It was a gift from my parents to us, and it was fabulous. And the last question was, how far apart are trash cans at Disney World? In order to keep the park clean, Imagineers designed Walt Disney World so that no guest is ever more than 30 steps away from the nearest trash can. What if it's still that way? Or I don't not? know. I know they had a talking trash can in Magic Kingdom. Yeah. I forget his name, but it was really funny. Yep. He did have a name, right? Yes, I can't remember what it is now. Remember. It was really funny. Okay, thank you for listening.
Thanks for coming to JNN Travels Podcast.